I'm a mask up and take it, 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 mask up and take it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's AJ Good here. Okay. The House of Masks. And today, video, we're going to be unboxing a Buckethead mask. That is right, today we have a package from my buddy Douglas Big. He said it, not me. And me and Douglas have this little tradition going where every time we send each other a package, we open it in a more and more ridiculous way. There you go. First things first, we've got to unbox this package. Now when I sent Douglas a package, he shot it and told me that I couldn't beat that. So how should we unbox this package? I think that'll work. This is a huge drum with cosplay today, I'm going to be jumping onto this box. This one is for all my maggots and ghouls. Woo -woo, hope you like it. Fuck this shit! And give it one more. Oh. Here. Now what you can't tell is how I'm going to unbox this. Let's see AJ at the House of Masks do that, huh? Well, today is no exception. I'm gonna be doing the craziest unboxing you can imagine. Check this out. Epic. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, what we have here is Buckethead related, but I don't believe that Buckethead was the one to wear this. So in Buckethead's Secret Recipe DVD, very, very long DVD, might I add, almost all the way at the end, there are these random little clips that get sprinkled in between other clips. And they're real quick, and if you blink, you might miss them, but they go a little something like this. Yeah, just fucking weird. And what we have here is who I believe to be P-Sticks wearing some weird gremlin troll mask and giggling. And I know what you're thinking, P-Sticks? Mm. Not that kind of P-Stick. Buckethead's friend slash guitar tech of I don't even know how many fucking years now. And just all around cool dude. <laughs> Now, if my info is correct, this is a 1996 Paper Magic Group vinyl troll mask. Vinyl is always a good thing in my eyes because it doesn't rot. That means this mask is super old and probably in superb condition and will continue to be the entire time that it's in my collection anyways. And yeah, I've been after one of these for quite some time. Of course, the only other person that I know that has one is the Mask Hunter, and I took advantage of Doug's misfortune. He asked me if I wanted to buy this, and I said yes, and uh, now we have it here. So let's go ahead and take it out and take a look. Feels disgusting, which uh, fits it because it's a weird fucking looking mask. All right, let's get it all unfolded here. And here we have it in all of its gross vinyl glory. Definitely just a weird fucking piece. But yeah, nothing too crazy. I can't really go into too much detail because as I mentioned, those kind of clips were just sprinkled in that DVD. That's the only time that we ever really saw it. And I believe P-Sticks is the one wearing it, not Buckethead. So this was just a rare little one to hunt for a while. And now that I finally got it in my collection, I'm just gonna throw it on one of the shelves and that'll be that. Thank you very, very much to Douglas for selling me this piece. I definitely appreciate it. And uh, I'm stoked to have it. And thanks to the Mask Hunter for the information on the piece itself, and thanks to P-Sticks for just being cool. Even if that, for whatever reason, wasn't P-Sticks in the DVD, I'm gonna pretend that it is, because fuck it. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and stuff this thing, put it on display, give you guys some nice up-close shots of it, and that will be that. Thank you very much for watching, say no to drugs and alcohol, and until next time, I'll see you later. <laughs>